I love how these Chesapeake treasures whisk us away to lost times and faraway lands, but some of the collections can't be brought to MPT, so we go off to see them. Follow us now on the yellow brick road to the most magic land of all, Oz, right here in Maryland. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Have you ever seen The Wizard of Oz? I don't think there is a person who hasn't seen it. But you know, the movie was made from a book by a man named Frank Baum. And now I'd like you to meet someone who is really an authority on all the Oz books, Fred Trust. Fred, this is an amazing collection. How many Oz books did Baum write? He started for the whole thing in 1899, so it's over the century ago and 40 years before the first movie was made. Frank Baum wrote 14 Oz books, mm -hmm. and there's altogether 40 official Oz books written by other authors, recognized by the Oz community, that is considered very collectible. And you have all of these books. In fact, you have more than one of every one of these books, don't you? Yes, I have multiple copies of almost every title. Let's talk a little bit about Frank Baum. He interests me. When did he start writing children's books? Well, before, he had quite a few businesses that he failed, including the theater production. But in age 43, he actually wrote The Wizard of Oz books in 1899. So he's a, a late bloomer as far as that is concerned. Exactly. How did you become interested in The Wizard of Oz, in Frank Baum? Well, Wizard of Oz is very popular not only in the United States, but all over the world. It's actually get translated to over 60 different languages. And you might be surprised that in Russia, for example, Wizard of Oz is more popular than it is in the United States. Really? Yeah. So I knew the story of the Wizard of Oz, but when my kids grow up, I want to find the books for them. And then I discovered that there's all those books available. Mm -hmm. And uh, I start buying them for reading purposes for my kids, and then I decided to collect them. Okay. Let's talk about collecting them. I mean, you have all these books, and there are some folks out there who probably have some Wizard of Oz books. How can you tell if it's valuable? It is a very tricky question. Uh, <laughs> many people pay thousands and thousands of dollars for a $10 book. And in order to really know, there's a whole science behind identification of the Wizard of Oz books, if they're first edition or later printing. For example, these are the two first edition books. but this book, as a first print, because it's had certain mistakes, is 10 times more valuable than this book that is also first edition, but already mistakes been corrected. The same book that might be in poor condition might cost a couple hundred dollars, can go up to 100,000 if it's in great condition and signed by the author. Really? So it's a whole big science out there. It is. It's very, very complicated, particularly Oz book series. Can you tell us about your own collection? Maybe some of the books that might be the most valuable that you own? The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, of course, is the most valuable book because everybody knows about it. Mm -hmm. Is there one of the books that's more rare than all the rest? I think the Lost Princess of Oz is the, one of the rarest copies out there because it was printed in 1917 during the World War I and they only printed 12,300 copies. Mm -hmm. Besides Wizard of Oz books, there's uh, other pieces of memorabilia that people collect. For example, games. Uh, my favorite war is Wogglebug game from 1906. There's only six of them in the world exist. There's memorabilia related to the Broadway musical from 1902. Uh, there is a uh, original manuscript for some of the Oz books that I have. Original puppets that one of a kind, and my favorite is Ozma of Oz. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. And I love the memorabilia you've collected that has to do with the movie, particularly the replica of the red shoes. <laughs> Your passion for the Oz books has never waned. You still are as involved as ever as a collector? Oh, yes, because the, the aspects to find those books that is very rare 
and they only publish a few thousands of those books. To find them, it's, it's like a treasure. And I love to show my collection to everyone. And I hope this gives people appreciation of L. Frank Baum, who started this all Oz book series.